Hello and welcome back to Promotional Shelf Display Markup Help video. This is Chapter 2, Editing in Adobe Photoshop. My name is Maria, I'm a graphic designer and I'll be your guide throughout this tutorial. So let's get started. First, let's open up the Photoshop. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're working in Photoshop CS 5.5. Uh, the only panel that is relevant to this tutorial is the Layers panel. If you don't see it open, you can open it by going through Window, Layers, or simply uh, you can press F7 on your keyboard and it will open and close um, as you work. So, uh, let's first open the file. There are two different ways of opening the file. We can go to File, Open menu, or if you work in... Um, Windows, you can just simply drag and drop your mockup from your Windows Explorer to your Photoshop. As you can see, there are four distinct groups. We have the group with the uh, smart objects. Uh, this is the group that you will be working on. These are the only elements you need to change. Then we have the settings group where all the lighting, shadows, placement of the smart objects have been done. If you want to edit this group, you need to unlock it like this. Then we have the render group and here you have uh, three different uh, shelf colors. We have the black, gray and the red one. Uh, renders are separated from the background and the shadow so you can work on them separately or you can work on your shadow separately etc. And finally we have the backgrounds group with a simple background that is locked. You can change it, uh, change the colors, edit uh, whatever you wish to do with it. Okay, so let's start with editing the mockup. Uh, what we need to do is simply double click on the mockup file, open it and then place our own design um, here. If it's uh, placed like this, you can see the it's proportionally scaled to fit uh, this mockup. All you have to do, in my case, I'm just gonna place it to 100%. Or you can, by selecting Control T on your uh, keyboard, you can uh, scale it, size it the way you wish. Okay. And finally, um, you can just leave it as it is. Uh, if you have three or four designs, you can add all the four designs and just simply. Um, hide them uh, and edit them uh, the way you want or you can uh, merge these two layers so you don't um, so it will be easier on the Photoshop on the your computer to work with uh, the way you do it is either uh, right click on the menu and go to merge down or there is a keyboard shortcut just simply press ctrl E and it will be merged and now we're just gonna save it Control S or go to file save okay that's it and once you open it as you can see it's been updated in your file uh, let's now change the shelf design basically we go through all the same steps for all four um, for all the four uh, smart objects we have here and save it and once we save it it's set up in this uh, I just wanted to show you the bottom one because as you can see it has a certain curve so make sure as you can see this is the group of the shape you need to place uh, your design uh, below this group because we have the mask for this object so again place this is the bottom one I'm gonna place it at 100% and if you see if I uh, shut down this group this is the actual design and this is the design with the mask turned on I simply merge it save it and here we are, we have the updated file. Um, this applies to, of course, all the mockups. All you have to do is change the uh, original design with your own and you're ready to go. So that was it. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.